Hi everybody, it's Andrea Mercy, aka Anlum, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, this is a special video. It's going to be released in December exclusively to my CAC colleagues. That's the Creative Arts Collaboration colleagues. And because of the content of it, would give away a secret hashtag in January. This won't be released until after January 20th, 2016 to the general public. Okay, so yesterday when I was on the CAC site, I saw that there was a lot of, I don't want to say anxiety, but there was some definitely some debate and some concern about the hashtag event for January, which is color of the year, hashtag color of the year, for the two new Pantone colors, Rose Quartz and Serenity. And some people were concerned about how they were going to uh, use them, get them, find them. So I uh, decided to do this little video to help out some of the people that may have some concerns about how to find and get and use the colors. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to flip over to the Pantone site, and here we are. These are the two colors in question. There we are. This is the Rose Quartz and serenity colors so this pink and this purpley blue so these are the two colors that are causing a little bit of concern now when you go to the color formulas here is the color formula so this is for rose quartz and this is for serenity I decided I was going to create a sample that I could take to Home Depot that would match so that I would be able to match and make sure that the colors were right. So this is how you do this. This is how anyone can do this. You can go into Word, you can go into Office. This is uh this isn't the real uh full version. Um I think Apache does this. I know that Paint you cannot do this. Get yourself a new document. Go to insert. Go to shapes. Pick a square. Make a square. Up here you have shape fill. Click on that. Go to more fill colors and then click on custom and if you see here this is where you can put in the RGB which is the same information that was available right here. So this is RGB for red, green, blue. All right. So there's the formula for that one, there's the formula for that one. So let's go back to the Word document. So for Rose Quartz it was 247 and 202 and 201. You press OK, it fills it with that color. Cool, eh? So we're going to go copy, paste, make a second square, going to go in, shape fill, more fill colors. So for Serenity, it is 146, 168, 209. There you go, Rose Quartz and Serenity. Now the good thing about being able to do this at home well, for me, it was just to get a sample so I could take in the Home Depot. But for you, paper crafters, uh, you would be able to print out an entire page and use it for your paper crafting, knowing that it would match, depending on your printer. If you don't have a color printer at home, throw this document or any other document you create onto a USB key, take it to Staples or Office Depot, and you plug in your USB key, and you can, you can print them off at their shop. So what I did is I happened to have mine with me when I went to Home Depot. So when I went to Home Depot with, and I was trying to match my printed off versions with the copies that they had. So I'm now going to switch over to my camera that's on my desk. So here I am, my camera on my desk. Let me just zoom in a little bit more there. So this was the uh, formulas that I printed off from the website. And this was 
the uh, piece that I printed off from my printer at home and then I tried to match online on the bare site. So then I went down to Home Depot and I grabbed up some of the colors and what ended up happening is I was able to get very close here with this etiquette but with the serenity I was unable to get close enough so I was going to get one of these and one of these and put them together and mix them myself. While I was at Home Depot talking to the guy he goes oh will you have this printout here we have a spectrograph here so we'll just put this in the spectrograph and then we'll we'll make a color sample for you here we go this is Home Depot these are in Canada these are three three ninety nine or three bucks or something like that so there is serenity because of my lights you can't really see it let me see if I can get there we go it's really close in person I know that the white lights are bouncing off of it and it doesn't look right and there is rose quartz oh you can't really see that that kind of looks sucky but they are super duper close super duper close here in real life all right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this latex paint and I'm going to mix it with my gloss medium and my gloss varnish and possibly some molding paste and I'm going to use this to create my pieces for the January hashtag color of the year. So I want you to know that it's not difficult. It's not hard. Don't be stressed. There's uh, many options. This was the easiest, fastest option that I could come up with. I wanted something that was really close to the colors because I'm a bit anal and anyone that watches my videos knows that I am. But I wanted to share this with you, one, so that you know you can get the color without paying a ridiculous price of $18 for the um, for the chip from Pantone and if for whatever reason you can't print this out and can't get this spectrograph the bare color etiquette is really super close and the bare so it is bare S120-2 called etiquette and the two that I was going to mix together is Bear Canterbury Bells P540-3 and Honest, which is P530-3. There you go, girls. I hope this helps. I am going to release this video after we do the hashtag event, just so in the future, if there's any new members that are having issues, that uh, don't know how to do this in Word, they would be able to go in and you'll be able to pick any color. So if you ever get a Pantone color, and there are lots of them out there, not just for colors of the year, but Pantone is the official keeper of colors worldwide. So if you're doing a logo for a company and they give you their logo, there's like Scotiabank here in Canada, they have a very specific red orange that is their logo color. And when I was re replicating their logos for an event that we were doing, um, it was a, a fundraising event that we were doing, I had to use the Pantone color to change it in Corel Draw 4, which shows you how old I am, so that I would be able to replicate the logo for some invitations or something like that. And that's how I learned how to do that in Word, to take these RGB formulas and punch them in, and then you can make any color based on Pantone. All right? So I wish all of you the best of luck for the January hashtag event. I'm actually really excited that Cinnamon chose this, and I believe that she chose it for a couple of reasons, and I welcome her to weigh in if I'm speaking out of turn, but one of the great things about the CAC is the hashtag events and we want to ride the coattails of larger organizations and larger artists and larger groups and associations so that we can get noticed and with the hashtag color of the year 
um, Rose Quartz and Serenity, we will be able to put those into all of our Instagrams, all of our YouTube videos for that event, and we'll be exposed to people who don't even know about us because they're punching in color of the year because they saw a news article or they heard about it from a friend or they saw something where the color was being talked about. And when they punch it in, they're going to see our art. They're going to make their way to CAC and then we'll be exposed to subscribers or possibly exposed to subscribers who we would normally not be exposed to. My stepmother redecorates her house every three years. She repaints all the rooms and she always picks a new color. So she would be the type of person that would say, what's the new color this year and would go to Pantone or would go to a newspaper article, come up with this, and then she would look for something maybe on Pinterest for curtains or bedspreads or rugs or something like that, punch in Serenity, punch in Rose Quartz, and holy crap, there we go. She would find some of my art through the CAC hashtag events. So I really believe that's one of the reasons why Cinnamon did this was to try and get us more non-art exposure to a larger audience through the hashtags that they're used on Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest. And for that, I thank you Cinnamon because I think it's an awesome idea and I wouldn't have thought of it and I think that is great. So I wish you all the best of luck. I'll see you all in January. Have a super day.